everyone, my name is Lynn Vartan and I'm an artist for Marimba One and today we're going to show you how to put together and take part your brand new 5 octave marimba. The first step is to put the end pieces and attach the frame and make the frame one piece. So, here we go with that. Unscrew your knob. Attach it in. And then the bottom piece goes in. The screw attaches to the back. And then the bottom part bolt gets screwed. When that's finished, you're going to take the center piece connect it through, lock it, bring it to the other side, connect it through, and lock it. And then the frame is put together. Okay, so the next step is to put the resonators on the frame. And the way I like to do it is the first thing you do is stretch the top part out, take the sleeve off, and then go ahead and put them upright, still resting in the case. At that point, you're going to latch the latch, and then set the resonators on the frame. Exactly like that. And of course, on the chromatic side, you would do exactly the same thing. One little trick that I like to do with the cases is to mark which case is which. It's hard to tell when you're packing it up which case is the chromatic and which case is the natural. So what I like to do is put a little scarf or something to mark the chromatic bar, the chromatic resonator cases so you can tell which one to put them in all the time. And there you go. So that's the next step with the resonators on the frame. The next step is to put the rails on. The rails can come individually out of their cases and then they're just stretched out. That's done with two people but can be done with one. And then fit it into their slot on the frame. You know their slot because the number of the rail is marked both here in the center and on the inside of uh, the low end of the rail. The rails come on the frame one, two, three, four, one being closest to the player, and then this is number four. You have to stop before you put on the very last rail, which is rail number three, to put on the sway bars. The sway bars, don't worry if you get it wrong the first time, it takes a little bit of while, can only fit in one way. And in fact, you'll see like that, it won't fit, I have to move it around until it fits in the proper way. After you have the sway bars in, then rail number three can come and be assembled onto the frame. And the very last step is to put your bars on your frame. You can unroll them out of your case and then gently lift them onto the instrument. I like to put the top end on first just so you have a bearing and then you can just gradually set the instruments into their grooves. Once again, when you're using the bar cases, just like with the resonator cases, one thing I like to do is mark the cases. Um, in the business card slot, I put a sharp sign for the chromatic notes and a natural sign for the natural ones. That way, when you're packing and unpacking, you always know which case the bars go into. After you've got those done, then you can connect um, the, the latch at the bottom end, just pull it tight until it settles, and then you can put your chromatic bars on. Same process. Get them basically in, set the top, and then with the chromatic bars, you can do groupings of twos and threes. I like to just kind of get the groupings in the basic place and then gently fit them in. After they're fitted into their grooves, then with the same thing down on the bottom, you can connect them. Pull that tight and connect it. and your instrument is all put together. Once again, I'm Lynn Vartan, and these are students from Southern Utah University, and we're happy to show you how to put together and take apart your five-octave marimba one marimba.